Welcome ladies and gentlemen, there is no turning back now. Today we're going to uh, review another very special piece from my collection. Uh, this is gonna be even more special than the other stuff because this is something actually not, not mass produced and I purchased this bust uh, directly from uh, the artist himself. A very good friend of mine, a special effects artist named Josh Weston. He's super um, talented and his work is really second to none. Uh, follow him on Instagram and visit his website where I think you're still able to uh, purchase this bust. Uh, I should have done a, a review of this bust a long time ago. I was just really, really busy, so I couldn't get to it, but here we are now. Um, so this bust, what you, what you need to know about this bust really in the beginning is that this was a makeup concept bust, uh, life-size, uh, the original one. Uh, this one is half-scale. But the original was a life-sized uh, makeup concept bust when they were uh, in the process of designing the vampire look for uh, Dracula Untold. The film is uh, undeniably far from a masterpiece, but I still have a soft spot for it, so uh, I smell a witch hunt in the air. <laughs> I think it's not that bad, but I I love Dracula and uh, I grew up with admiring the story and I read everything I could about Dracula. I always loved the vampires and me being from uh, Hungary and uh, from that part of Hungary, the southeast, which is like close to Romania as well, it was very exciting and uh, I'm obsessed with uh, Francis Ford Coppola's uh, Dracula from 93 or 92 but let's talk about this piece so as I told you guys this was a, a makeup concept bust where they were figuring out how the vampire look gonna look like in the film so as you can see there is a lot of detail to be admired here uh, however i'm going to say this this half scale bust was done by scanning the original one-to-one -one scale so life-size bust and i do feel i've seen pictures i've never seen the uh, the one one to one scale bust in real life but i i'm going to say this there is a lot of details uh, lost unfortunately uh, in the scanning process or the printers they were using i don't know what printers they were using but um the original life size bust has way more detail especially here which is basically the focal point or supposed to be the focal point of the bust. And another thing also is that this is not the original print. Uh, this is actually molded, uh, that they molded the, the, um, the original printed piece and this is like a resin bust, quite heavy, my I add But they still have the print lines as you can see here and there which is uh, it doesn't bother me uh, especially from the distance I, I'm not sure if you guys can see it in the in the teeth as well and, yeah. so it doesn't necessarily bother me uh, especially from the distance the bus still looks great but uh i i don't think that should be there and it takes away from the details and the quality uh in my humble opinion look at this silhouette isn't it great it's it's really wonderful now obviously um, you might recognize that the um bust resembles the actor who played uh uh, Dracula in Dracula Untold uh, because the uh, creature was 
uh, sculpted by using the actor's life, life, actor's life cost. It's it's truly a magnificent piece, and I, I really love the uh, the base as well. If you are a Dracula fan, I I really think that this is something you should have. Or if you are a movie prop uh, fanatic or collector, uh, I think this is this is something really nice, and. Uh, I just want to say that much that I was uh, number one in line to buy this bust and I don't know if any of the aforementioned uh, things regarding the uh, printing uh, got corrected, uh, maybe they, they have, so I don't know if the next run of the bust will have these like uh, print lines, uh, you can see there as well. Uh, there is a photo now on Josh's website, uh, which I'm going to include in the description, where there is a picture of the bust and you don't see the uh, print lines. So I have to live with the suspicion that maybe, and, and in fact, the bust is a little bit more expensive now. So the price changed because uh, I purchased this for two hundred and fifty pounds, and I think he's selling them for three hundred and ninety nine. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to mislead anyone. I don't remember exactly, but um, that gives me an impression that they may be uh, upgraded and updated the the process. Really, really nice piece, and and pretty much that's all there is to say about this piece. Uh, I am um, just going to add that much that I applied this um, uh, glass coat on the bust. This is not how the bust came to me. I just felt that the uh, glass coat uh, will further um, enhance the uh, details on the bust. I don't know if I was right, but I like it this way. It's it's a really beautiful piece. It is beautifully designed. Love the details. And you know, you just can't go wrong with a vampire. Look at this. Love it. Wonderful piece. Wonderful. So highly recommend it if you guys are interested in purchasing this piece from Josh. I'm going to leave the link in the description and then you can contact him or I can contact him uh, if you guys contact me. And there you go. Blood is life. See you next time.